Welcome in a universe community. This video answers all your questions on intuition. So here we go. What is intuition in simple terms? The simplest meaning of intuition is pay attention to your inner voice and give it an honest hearing, sitting in silence. All our decisions are based on what looks good and how people perceive us. They are based on comparison and competition and lot of logical reasoning. Intuition is when your heart or gut feeling tells you what should be your next best move. Keep your heart open to give love and receive love. Don't let a few negative experiences close your heart. Always pay attention to what your heart is saying to you. Pay attention to how you feel with any person. Aren't we judging people in the name of being intuitive? Well, there is a difference between judging something or someone and becoming judgmental. Being judgmental may have a negative connotation like look at her, what is she wearing, trying to look smart. <laughs> but judging means reading the vibrations of a person or a place with your creativity, imagination and experience. Remember, you have to create a balance between your logical thinking and how you feel in your heart. How can you enhance your intuition? Well, you can enhance your intuition by sitting in silence, by meditation, connecting to your inner being that is the source within you and becoming more mindful and aware in this present moment. How can you go along with your intuition? Your conscious mind or logical mind may offer resistance. You have to stick to your intuition by believing in your gut feeling or feeling in your heart, which is your intuitive intelligence. It is necessary that you get away from all distractions and sit in silence, meditate and connect with your true feelings and inner being that is the source within. Who is an intuitive person? An intuitive person can know the story even before someone tells the full thing. Such a person can predict situations beforehand. Intuitive individuals are sensitive to energies. They experience vivid dreams. They can sense the feelings or motive of the other person. They sometimes dream of life experiences even before they actually happen. What is the difference between intuition, instinct, insight and anxiety? Intuition means knowing by how you feel about someone or something at the unconscious level. You cannot comprehend the reason behind it. Instinct feels more sure about something. Insight is a sudden solution to any problem which comes in your mind. All of these, that is intuition, instinct and insight, happen at the unconscious level. All are non-analytical thought processes and are not based on deliberate analysis towards any solution. And what is anxiety? Well, anxiety will feel like worry and uneasiness within you. You can know anxiety by the negative feeling and contraction that you experience in your body. What is clairvoyance? When you perceive about a person or event in the future even before it has happened. For example, you dream of an event and a few days after it comes true. What is clairsentience? This is a clear feeling which most empaths have. Empaths can feel the emotions or energy of objects, animals and people or even from a space when no one can be seen around through touch or emotion. What is claircognizance? You can sense insincerity or you wake up with the solution to a problem. Or you hear about a person and you have never met this person. Still, something about this person does not feel right to you. And as you know this person better, you know that what you felt was actually true. 
What is clear audience when someone can receive vocal message from higher beings or spirit angels you hear a voice when actually there is no visible physical entity present there and speaking you hear messages that were tailor made to answer your question and it seems like the message was delivered specially for you once i heard someone calling sanjita while i was in the gym and i responded yes and when i looked around nobody had called me in fact everyone was busy doing their own thing and later walking down the road i realized it resembled the voice of my deceased aunt how do we know if it was intuition or manifestation intuition is about feeling and not thinking too much You can observe signs from the universe in the form of number synchronicities, overheard conversations, vivid dreams, etc. Intuitive answers never force themselves upon you. The clear idea or the clear answer just comes to you as an inspiration. It is so calming and thoughtful. Now it depends on you whether you take it or leave it. However, when it comes, you feel relieved, enthusiastic and interested. It feels like it was beyond the reach of your own logical thinking. Suppose you dreamt about somebody's illness and this actually came true. Now, this was your intuition speaking to you because it came out of the blue. Manifestations come when you desire something over a period of time and you know about what you desire or you know what you like to manifest. What is the connection between 852 hertz frequency and intuition? It is believed that meditating on 852 hertz frequency music awakens crystal clear intuition. The link to this music is given in the description area of this video. How do you know intuition from other thoughts? Intuition is your inner knowing. Intuition can speak to you through vivid dreams. Intuition comes with becoming more meditative and connecting to your inner being irrespective of your outer circumstances with clarity you just know your heart knows it is your gut feeling other thoughts are mostly repetitive and habitual do you go about telling others what intuitive feeling you have about them well no it is not always the right time to do that When intuitively you experience negative vibrations how can you tell if these vibrations are your own vibrations or the other person's vibrations well it is possible that you may be exuding negative vibrations sometimes however if you are feeling great and you feel negative after talking to or meeting someone then it is likely that you have absorbed negative vibes of others How is intuition different from clear cognizance and clear sentience? Well, do you know that an intuitive person can have all these four qualities together? That is, this person can be clear cognizant and clear sentient and clear audient too. So, it is all about how intuitive somebody is. You cannot understand your intuitive powers with your logical or conscious mind. Intuitive messages are clear and calming inspirations. And there is very subtle difference between clear cognizance and clear sentience. They are a part of your intuitive mind and intuitive intelligence. How does being intuitive help you in life? Understanding the power of your intuition helps you to live to your full potential. When you cannot see the way through difficulties and darkness, intuition shows you the way. Each one of us must tap into our intuition. When you do inspired work and you experience free flow of ideas and inspiration, this is your intuitive being at work. This is God speaking through you. This is when you are at your creative best. and later you yourself wonder how you were able to do something so well intuition is also a flow of vibrational energy telling you something answering your most asked questions 
logical thinking can take you from point a to b but imagination can take you everywhere believe in your intuitive powers intuition is your gut feeling your sixth sense feeling of your heart feeling the vibrations psychic sense whatever you may call it being highly intuitive is a positive quality and now people have begun to realize its importance the more connected you are with your inner being that is inner source the more intuitive you will become do you ignore your mind altogether as an intuitive person no create a balance between your heart and mind Stay in the now and listen to your heart. Be mindful. Think less, feel more. Trust your instincts. Be authentic to your true self. What is the connection between solar plexus chakra and intuition? Solar plexus chakra or Manipura is the third chakra located between belly button and your heart. It is depicted by yellow color. This chakra governs our emotions and intuition. So, this is where you get your gut feeling from. If you want to know more about the solar plexus chakra, the link to our video is given in the description area of this video. What do masters say about intuition? Osho considers intuition as the highest rung of the ladder of consciousness. Carl Jung says that when you look inside, you awaken. He believes that intuition is when you perceive through the unconscious. Which chakra is associated with intuition? Your Ajna chakra or the third eye chakra, that is the sixth chakra, is intuitive. It is located between your eyebrows and is the chakra of wisdom and intuition. If you want to know more about the third eye chakra, the link for the video is given in the description area of this video. Which breathing exercises help you become more intuitive? Brahmari breathing exercise that is be breath exercise helps you to open your third eye chakra. Another exercise is the balasana that is child's pose in which you press your forehead on the floor. Dolphin pose is also helpful. The link for the videos showing these breathing exercises and yoga asanas is given in the description area. Can intuition be wrong? This is an answer only you will know. Intuition bridges the gap between the conscious and subconscious mind. It is midway between your reasoning mind and your feeling, heart and instinct. Clarity helps you see the larger picture. As you let go fear, worry and overthinking and embrace silence, you can tap into the vibrational language of your intuitive feelings. Only you will know. Only you will be able to tell. You need lot of awareness and mindfulness to tap into your intuition. Those who have the passion and fearlessness to follow their dreams are highly intuitive people. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and knowing everything about intuition. I hope all your questions have been answered in this video. This is Sanchita Pandey from Inner Universe Community and my message to each one of you is I love you. I wish abundance, peace, good health and the best of everything in your life. May all your wishes come true. Thank you so much for being here. Namaste.